one. Alright. Um, Norval Appel, uh, six points, four boards, two blocks. Uh, can you talk a little bit about his performance last night? I thought he played really well. I think uh, kind of when opportunity knocks, he seemed to be pretty ready. And it's unfortunate what happened with Joel, but it's good that Norvell has kind of embraced this opportunity. I thought he did a heck of a job blocking shots, got a dunk, kind of all the stuff we know for him. And he also looks like he's having a lot of fun. So I think it works out really nicely for him. People love him. Like, what else can you ask for? Kamaji, kind of the development for him, what have you been most impressed with in terms, besides just the productivity? Uh, I think we talked a lot about the, being able to be a rim protector without fouling. I think he's gotten better in that degree. I think also I've been impressed lately with his ability to catch difficult passes. I think there's been a few, uh, one notably at the end of the Westchester game where Jared hits him running full speed off two guys running at Jared for three. He makes an extra pass and we get a dunk off of it where he's shown dexterity catching the ball, avoiding the defense. And still finishing at a high level, I think that's been a real uh, area of improvement. One of the 33 assists the other night. Would you say you were kind of trending in that direction of sharing the ball better? I think so. I think we started uh, with very minimal ball movement, and so we're, we're on the right path. I think we played in the second half last game probably one of our best halves of basketball, both defensively from getting stops, running the way we want, and then being unselfish and sharing. And we didn't start out great against Westchester. The last two quarters were pretty good. When up? Shea, because I remember when we first got here, you were talking about you like those long twos yeah. and making it be a three. And I looked at it last five at least 19 of 48. You know, it's a pretty good number. It's almost From three. Yeah. Yes, yes. I, I, Is that a conscious thing on his part now to know, like, Go ahead and make sure I'm behind that line. I think he's done a better job finding threes. I think the team ball movement has helped him just naturally get more. I think Zaire's gotten more out of that. I think Mar's gotten more out of that. I think that's helped. And he's shooting a high percentage. And so he's a threat. He feels confident shooting it. And that adds a lot to our team. And that's the next step he needs to take. Uh, Lewis King plays for Grand Rapids. Uh, did you watch him when he worked out with the Sixers during the pre-draft and yeah. any comment on his game so far? No, I remember him from, from the workout and he's, I think he played last night and it, with it, with Detroit, was active for their game and then they play Maine tomorrow. So he's doing a classic G League to NBA back <laughs> to back to back. But he's someone we gotta be aware of. Long athlete, um, can score in a variety of different ways. We'll put one of our better defenders on him. Couple more. You guys really run like the same offense and defense as the so when Brett Brown comes out and says he's taking a play towards that, do you guys change? Or do you guys stay in the same similar sets? Uh, I think the blowtorch thing may be getting a little overblown. I think uh, they already have it set up that depending on who their five man or their rim protector is, the defense changes. And so I think it's less about doing something completely new and just a higher emphasis because of the minutes who are being played. And so that makes it easier for us where we don't have to start from scratch learning something completely new. So I, don't, I think the blowtorch was a, he's got a lot of great phrases. I, mean, he, I think that was one of his great phrases. Yeah. But I'm not sure if it's going to be quite as different. They've done these sort of things before. Play okay. fives up at the level of the screen, put more pressure on the ball handler. But they've not done it when Joel's been in the game. Joel's playing last now, they do more. Of last one? We play very similarly to how they play with Joel. Okay. Where Joel's back at the front of the rim, Chris, Demo, Norvell, whoever it is, back at the front of the rim. Norvell, as a rim protector, kind of fits the Joel mold, maybe not to the same degree, but the same way his strength is being a shot blocker and turning shots at the rim. Can I ask you more? Who is stronger than Demo. Yeah, I think. Uh, he looks so dejected. Hey, he had a bad stretch last game here. They called some ticky tack fouls on him that That's I don't two. think were deserved, maybe. Uh, fair enough. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's, he's, had, he's had good pockets as well. He played well at Lakeland. I think his minutes have been going up and down. He's kind of at the mercy of when Norvell plays. And Chris has played really well. So we're trying to find as many minutes for Chris as we can. He still has to be ready. I think he can play at a higher level. I think his approach has been great day to day. He's a great guy who comes into work. We just need some smile. Good. Thank you. Thanks, Coach.